Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is the top 50 mistakes that I see restaurant owners making. I'm going to give you some quick tips and guides to change those around or change your mindset at least. Some of them are straightforward and some of them are a little more difficult, but they've all been done. I've done them and they're easy to do. So, on to step number or mistake number 45. You guys don't ask the right questions when you interview people, there's a series of questions that I have developed, that I've stolen, that I've borrowed, that I've perfected in my mastermind group, that other people have helped me with. There's a series of questions and why you ask these questions and are extremely important questions. And I like to do a pre-interview with, on the phone, just to qualify them, make sure that they've researched my restaurant, make sure they know about where they're going. A lot of people just respond to an ad or just blind call a place they don't even know what the place is about and that's a no-no and I get rid of those people right off the bat they never even step foot in my door they never get a chance to fill out an application so now once they pass those series of questions and it's just a preliminary interview they come in and I interview them my wife interviews and maybe somebody on staff interviews them so we get an all different angle because they're going to give a staff member different answers and they're going to give me so I may let a senior staff member help me with the interviews very key, series of questions, very, very exact questions, looking for very exact answers. Okay. Um, I, a lot of people say, well, yeah, they can write anything on their resume. And that's true, they can write anything on their resume, and they do write anything on their resume. There's a way to corner people into questions. When they say, well, I worked, you know, pizza, I worked at a pizza shop for 10 years, and well, okay, what was your daily task? Tell me how you started your day at the pizza shop. Did you make the dough? Did you follow a recipe? Did you develop the recipe? How many pounds of dough would you make at one time? How long would the dough last? You see, you have to corner them. And once you start cornering them, ask them exact questions and keep hitting them with the questions, then it's harder for them to lie about their experience. Okay? And just keep cornering them. Keep, if, if they can answer the questions, they will answer them. And they'll come back and you'll be impressed. If they can't, you'll know right off the bat. Asking the right questions cornering them into those into their experience and getting the preliminary interview out of the way on the phone saves a lot of time it's your f second step to hiring a rock star your first step was placing the right ad to begin with i'm chef marcus giuliano thank you for watching I've been running my restaurant aroma time for 10 years in the hudson valley and i used to be one of those restaurant owners that was married to my business couldn't leave the restaurant wouldn't be open if i wasn't here i didn't trust anybody i turned everything around been here 10 full years like i've said i've defeated all the odds I opened up this fine dining restaurant, upscale restaurant, in a small, depressed community. Um, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes, and that's how I can confidently say I can help you. I can switch that mindset. I can teach you uh, tips and techniques that I've learned by doing it myself and then masterminding with some of the top restaurateurs in the country and marketing geniuses. It's been a great 10-year run. I don't regret a single part of it. Now the thing is I work on my business. I don't work my business which is a totally different thing. I can teach you how to do that. It's so simple with the tips and tools and techniques. Um, owning a restaurant can be a lot of fun, and I want to show you how to have fun in your restaurant. So please, send me an email.